to ask you some questions. Oh, yeah, let's uh, hit it. Can I get some water, though? Oh, yeah. I'm like, chat. It's got some Hennessy in it. Oh, uh, yeah. It was some clear uh, Hennessy, huh? Uh, uh, listen, uh, quick question, man. How do you, uh, how do you define manhood? What is manhood for you? Mm. That's good. You're trying to hit me with it today, huh? Yeah, going to. Yeah, manhood. What is manhood to you, brother? It's funny because I don't think most people know what manhood is. So yeah, manhood is a lost art movement. Manhood is having certain standards and morals. It's an actionable, plausible character. There's a difference between being a boy and a male. There's a difference between being a boy and a man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Men are masquerade, or a lot of males are masquerading as men, but they really boys. And it's a lot of boys, or males is masquerading as boys, but really they boy girls. Because their psyche is that of a girl, but their body is that of a boy. You know what I'm saying? So when you want to deal with that, you have to deal with masculinity. The reason a lot of men like to go from women to women is because of the process of power. We, masculinity wants power. So a man that's masculine doesn't want to be oppressed. When they said in slavery time, the hardest slaves that they had to deal with was the masculine ones. You know what I mean? Because the masculine ones want power. They can't be under oppression. So what happens is you have to feminize them first. You have to get them to not want power, to give that up. Instead, they become dependent upon you. Masculinity is really the foundations of what manhood is built upon. But manhood goes into same thing, let's say the God protocol, there's a man protocol to calling yourself a man. There are certain things that you have to do. You can look at the old set of things that men started, you know what I mean? Becoming a protector, becoming a provider, you know, having knowledge and skills. It's hard to be a man in a certain sense in today's age because everything is so comfortable. There's a day where men had skills and they had things like mechanical skills and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They had real things that they'd do with their hand and they'd build. You know what I mean? That was that part of becoming a man was obtaining those skills and growing within yourself and becoming a giver. A man is a giver. You ever had somebody give you something and since you want to receive it in, you really don't appreciate it much. Are you giving somebody else something and you're like, why the fuck they don't appreciate this shit? I'm always giving them something. That's because if they a man, they can't appreciate it because you want to be the one that gives. You know what I'm saying? It's almost impossible for you to appreciate because you want to give. Once you become the breadwinner and you give, and it's part of your makeup to want to be able to give more and more, and that shit feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I'm becoming a man now. I'm a giver and a provider and a protector. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, a, I'm a teacher. Those are pillars of manhood, is to be able to give. If you always receiving, if you look at the phallus symbol of a penis and a pussy, which one you want to be, the one that gives or the one that receives? We naturally built to give. The woman takes it and she creates a, a life, but we give her that seed, we impregnate that. You know what I'm saying? So I want to leave y'all with that foundation when it comes to manhood, because I don't want to just break down too much. I want to think about becoming a giver. You know what I mean? One who has to be able to give. If you broke, you don't feel like a man because you can't give nothing. You know what I mean? You're like, damn, I ain't got shit. That's why being broke don't feel good. Knowledge, it's, that's true. I'm not, no, that's an example of why it feels that way. I'm not saying that's the 100% scope of it, but that's why it feels, because if you got children that's, that's starving, you ain't gonna give them knowledge to feed them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta actually come to the table and put something on it. I don't care how smart of a genius you are, if you don't work, and work, a man works. You know what I mean? No matter what it is. You know what I mean? I'm glad you said that because if, if you're not working, you're not a man. You gotta be working on something. You gotta be working on yourself. You gotta be working on your ideas. Even a genius that doesn't work is useless. You know what I mean? And so work, 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 work is the solution and the cure for everything. When there's a disease, what they do? They work upon it. They get their mind going. You know what I'm saying? You have to work on everything. If you think about work as the solution, when I don't have money or things of that nature, I put myself to work. You know what I mean? Because while I'm working, things happen. You put in motion in the air. You know what I'm saying? And when you put motion and energy to something, it allows you to manifest. 
you get on that move, busy is biz, uh, uh, business is busyness. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be a working man. You know what I mean? And as long as you working, you working to become more of a man than man. You have to mature upon those ideas. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you definitely got to feed them knowledge. You got to feed their minds, but also you got to feed the stomach as well. You know what I mean? Because your children will be like, Pops, you got me fucked up. I'm hungry. You, <laughs> you try to give me mathematical equations and stuff like that. Well, bro, we'll be eating tonight. So well, when you're able to provide, then you feel good because you have manifested your purpose in life. You know what I mean? If we should be stripped of everything that exists on the planet Earth, technology, jobs, all of these things that we socially construct, what is left? You got man and you got woman. What is that man? The woman, she can produce life. That man can give her life. You know what I'm saying? So the only power that he has and he's stripped down with everything else that doesn't matter is his ability to give. And that makes him feel like a man. And so let's say if your sperm not working, you ain't gonna really feel like a man because now you are inadequate. You have no purpose of value because now you got one woman left and one man left and you can't even produce life.